De regreso aquí en Auto 060 eh, y ahora vamos a pasar directamente al inglés. We're going to switch uh, immediately to English in this segment because we have young as Loli uh, from uh, Chevrolet who is going to talk about football. Soccer for us. <laughs> How are you, John? I'm well, and yourself, Javier? Excellent. Thank you very much for, uh, for uh, your time and, and sharing this uh, information uh, from Chevrolet and soccer. Uh, yes, it's which, my pleasure. Which in our world we call it football, right? But uh, in football, America, that's what we call it too. <laughs> it's talking? only us Americans that uh, think that football is played with a pigskin on uh, on a field. So. Well, yeah, but uh, in any way, in any case, um, soccer or football, whatever we want to call it, it's a big part of Chevrolet, believe it or not. Uh, and and I saw this uh, announcement about a very cool initiative that you guys are doing in Detroit. Can you talk about that, please? Yes, um, we are uh, the founding sponsor, um, along with an organization called One World Football, um, to um, globally distribute one and a half million um, virtually indestructible soccer balls um, to um, children in need um, around the world. And uh, one of our very local initiatives with, uh, with One World Football is actually taking place here um, in our very own market of Detroit, uh, actually tomorrow. Um, April 27th, um, in partnership with uh, Big Brothers, um, Big Sisters here um, uh, locally. So we're very excited about that. Well, that's great. Uh, and as, as I, I told you before, uh, we went in the air, uh, I played soccer a lot. And I remember when I was a kid, I grew up in Mexico, and we were always struggling with balls because uh, we, we had to buy many, and they would go, they would go over the fence, and then the neighbors yeah. were giving it back. And like, it was always a, a struggle. So this brought us some uh, good memories and bad memories too. But uh, yeah. in any case, like soccer has always been close to me. So I think this is great. So can you talk a little bit about this indestructible ball? How, yeah, what is it made the, for? Oh. The, the beauty of this ball is that, um, like we say, it is virtually indestructible. You can step on it, puncture it, um, you know, play on the roughest terrain, and the ball always continues to just reinflate itself. It doesn't need a pump. It doesn't need air and, and, and last for, you know, years and years and years. Um, we can't take credit for it. The, uh, the inventor and founder of the ball itself is a gentleman by the name of Tim Yanigan. And, uh, he was inspired by watching, um, you know, children in, um, unfortunately very poor, um, countries and war torn countries playing with balls that they made out of trash or rags all, you know, strung up and wadded up. You know, the spirit of these children is, you know, they want to play and they'll find a way to play. So he yeah. wanted to come up with a ball that would that that would last and they'd be able to play with. So, you know, even in your own personal story when you said, you know, growing up in Mexico the ball would go or it would go flat or whatever the case may be, what the beauty of this is that is is how ingenious and innovative and indestructible um that this ball is. It's made out of a, a unique foam material. Uh, and it's been, you know, tested over and over, and uh, it just continues to bounce back, just like the spirit of the kid. Yeah, that's great. And uh, actually, even though it's not directly re um, developed by, by General Motors or Chevrolet, I think they're going to find a way to put some of this in the car, because it sounds like a pretty cool technology that might maybe be applied in some parts of the car. Yeah, well, what's, what's very interesting is um, on our social channels, you can go to um, our YouTube channel, Chevy Chevrolet FC, um, you know, dot com and, and get to our social channels. We actually took the ball to our um, vehicle testing facilities and put it through some of the same tests um, and validation that we put our vehicles through, heat testing, cold testing, we crushed it, and the ball continues to just bounce back and bounce back. So. We've tested it to our our standards and it and it's lived up to those uh, those for us as well. So that, it's, it's pretty marvelous. That's pretty cool. So and you said this is an initiative that is going to benefit uh, kids uh, all over the the place. But you started in Detroit. Um, well, it's actually we did not start in Detroit. Oh. We uh, our, our actual it will benefit children all over the world. Um, over the next three years, we're committed to distribute one and a half million footballs um, to children in need around the world. We brought it locally here to home in Detroit um, just this year, um, and we'll start a program, like I said, with the, uh, our local chapter of Big Brothers and Big Sisters, and we'll donate over 1,300 balls here in the Detroit area um, to uh, you know through through our Detroit public school system um, with the help of 
um, Big Brothers Big Sister, and then another organization called the Police Athletic League. That's excellent. That's that's very cool. Um, I appreciate the uh, charitable efforts because, as I said, soccer is or football is very close to me. Uh, and another thing, uh, charitable is being involved in in football. Uh, in the past, in the recent uh, months or years, because you already have a big sponsorship uh, for one of the most popular teams in the world. That is correct. So um, as of uh, May of 2012, um, Chevrolet signed on as an exclusive sponsor of uh, Manchester United, and we're very, very proud because as of this past Monday, um, they clinched their 20th um, title uh, in the English Premier League. So we are now can say we sponsored um, the number one team in the English Premier League um, and the number one um, you know team in the world with probably the largest fan base globally um, with over um, 659 million um, fans around the world. So we're very, very proud and excited and happy for our um, our sponsorship with Manchester United. That's great. Congratulations on that one. Thank you. Um, and um, can we talk a little bit more about the, the global program? And you said you're going to donate uh, one uh, million, uh, one, one and a half million, million balls yeah. around the world. But what are the things that does is Charlie doing uh, to promote soccer and like uh, around the world? Um, well, like I said, we have our, our Manchester United um, sponsorship. We have a One World Football sponsorship. And then um, in select markets, um, there may be affiliations with national teams or local teams as well. Um, I know in Mexico, um, just uh, a couple weeks ago, or actually last week, our, our colleagues down there um, formed a relationship with um, Team Santos and United Way and yeah. One World Football. Um, so Mexico's got a program going on. Um, and I know other, you know, um, countries around the world also have um, smaller associations with, yeah. uh, with their local people. Yeah, and Chevrolet is very big in, uh, around the world, obviously, but uh, in Mexico, I remember they have a big plant in Santos, which is in Torreon. It's, uh, that might be closer to one of your plants there, and maybe that's uh, the reason to do this program there, too? Uh, yeah, uh, definitely. That's one of the one of the uh, underlying um, reasons for that uh, yeah. program. Yeah. Well, that's great. So, as you said, all these uh, balls are going to be rolling down in Detroit and uh, some other parts around the country. So that is absolutely great. Uh, thank you very much for your time. You're and, welcome. Uh, is there any anywhere you you mentioned the YouTube um, channel? But is there any other places where uh, our audience can look at all these uh, initiatives from Chevrolet and football? Uh, yeah, so uh, the best place to go would be Chevrolet FC, so for a football club, ChevroletFC.com. And if you go there, you can link to our YouTube, um, you know, Facebook and other and other channels as well. But if you visit ChevroletFC.com, you'll, you'll be able to get a sense of uh, all the uh, stuff that we do in the football space. Excellent. And what about you? Do you play soccer? Um, I did not play organized <laughs> soccer. I played I played neighborhood soccer. Well, this um, organized soccer is sometimes is much more fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, I, I, I as I was telling you, I, I play a little bit still. Um, unfortunately, I dislocated the shoulder playing in this oh, and boy. I think so. I think I'm gonna. You've I'm got gonna, your war. You, you got your war battles, your wounds. Yeah, I think I'm gonna uh, retire very soon from soccer, but I uh, active at least. Uh, but this is very cool to see a company like Chevrolet um, developing uh, and initiatives in, in in sports that here in the states are not as big. And I think it, uh, that's very cool because uh, it's a great sport. Yes, it is. It's a definite, and uh, you know, as the, as you know, they call it the beautiful game, and. Uh, and we're, we're very par proud to be part of it uh, in, in many different ways. Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, You're Joel welcome, Javier. Gasloli, he is the um, um, general market, market marketing gen uh, manager for General Motors around the world and promoting right. this great initiative. Thank you very much for your time again. Thank you. Thanks. Bueno, ahí teníamos a John Gasloli hablando de esta iniciativa increíble de la Chevrolet impulsando el fútbol nuestro fútbol acá en Estados Unidos y alrededor del mundo con la iniciativa que se llama Chevrolet FC, Chevrolet Football Club. Ellos son, como decía John, eh, desde el año pasado patrocinadores del Manchester United en Inglaterra y tienen esta iniciativa mediante la cual van a donar un millón y medio de pelotas de fútbol, de balones prácticamente indestructibles, de un material que no se pincha, no se desgasta eh, y eh, realmente beneficia 
a todos esos chicos alrededor del mundo que tienen esta pasión por el deporte y que lamentablemente, como lo mencionaba él, y como a mí me pasó quizá y a algunos de ustedes también les pasó cuando eran chicos en sus países de origen, tenían los balones y a veces se pinchaba, se perdía, se iba a través de una cerca, caía en la casa de un vecino gruñón que no te la quería devolver, así que, bueno, una iniciativa más de la Chevrolet para desarrollar esta iniciativa, y mencionaba él ahí, eh, se lo recomiendo y lo vamos a colocar en nuestra página de Facebook, facebook.com slash auto 060, un video muy interesante de cómo llevaron este balón indestructible a la prueba, a las uh, pistas de pruebas de la Chevrolet, y la hicieron pasar por todas las pruebas que llevan los vehículos de calor, de frío, de resistencia, de choques, de impactos, y vieron cómo funcionaba eh, este balón, y realmente se volvía a inflar prácticamente solo, y seguía creando diversión para los chicos. No se vayan, que cuando regresemos vamos a hablar con Linet Díaz, que por coincidencia estuvo esta semana aquí en Miami, hablándonos de otra cuestión de General Motors, que son las aplicaciones que tiene eh, disponible eh, General Motors en todos sus modelos especialmente en el Chevy Spark y en el Buick Verano aplicaciones eh, muy interesantes que eh, van en complemento de lo que hablábamos en el primer segmento del show con Christina Jagger del Texas Transportation Institute sobre cómo ser estar seguros cuando manejamos en el auto y usamos los teléfonos celulares no se vayan, esto es Auto 060 yo soy Javier Mota